okay we installed our laravel permission package right sparty package and now i'm going to create the new rules so how to create the new rules it's very simple we need to uh, we can call this as we are calling our laravel models so i'm going to my application and here i i'm going to open my web.php file so i'm basically here showing our roles and where i'm opening my all of the roles right and there is another um, another route which is for the create role right so i'm going to basically create another role where i'm going to submit my request to on this route and then i'll uh, save this role in my database so just to click on this role click on this new role and here i'm going to submit this one form on the new route so what would be the new route so i'm going to copy the above one and here i'm going to create this new role i'm basically copying pasting is because it's so much uh, basic stuff i'm going to name this uh, here role and then this should be the post right and then here i'm going to mention the store store role method and then this should be also the store okay and then just go here and create this method so i'm going to create this after this role create method. and it's going to accept the request and then request something like this so here i'm going to accept all of the requests so basically i'm going to accept the name from this request so i'm going to this name okay name here and do uh, just uh, go to your form here create and it's contain a name attribute so i want to submit this form here on this uh, route which would be the post and the action would be whatever the route we have created right now right a role start store and i'm going to add the csrf token to generate the token and it will uh, basically it's going to add a unique token in our application in our form okay so here i'm going to say that uh, role would be the writer okay just click on this save and you can see this we are able to see the writer in our uh, in our controller right here we are digging this out so now we got this uh, role right role from the request okay and uh, oops i'm going to now save this into uh, here i'm getting the role and now i want to create this role in my database so how i can do this so i'm going to basically go on to this cup uh, this party and party have this role create and then we need to make this uh, it's a bit similar with the laravel so first we need to add the namespace at the top i'm going to basically copy the roles and permission both because we'll use them uh, both are one okay so here i'm going to say that uh, a role and then you need to call the create method and remember you don't need to create the role model it's by default provided by the spotty if i click on that you can see this it's now coming from laravel permission and this coming from the spotty right so you don't need to manually create this out it would be same as you are doing this for the laravel okay so here you need to pass this name and whatever the no name we are getting it from our form right so it will save that and here i want to um, display a message of what i'm going to say that to flash success message something like this and then i'm going to say that to uh, role saved successfully okay successfully something like this and then after that i'm going to return this on the i need to i think return this on the index page okay roles dot uh, index page or we can also return this back okay so on the index page i'm going to get this session okay so here after that uh, um, after that roles before this roles i'm going to add this session here div 
uh, div class of I'm going to basically first check that if this exists so then I'm going to throw this uh, I'm going to basically display this session so session and then here you can see this success message and if that we got this success message I'm going to say that alert alert to success bootstrap alert and here I'm going to get that value so session okay and then you need to type here your session name in the get because we are going to get that session value perfect okay now let's go back and I'm going to now here just uh, go back and I'm going to say that to uh, writer just click on this save and it's gone to our index page and showing us the rule saved successfully perfect right and uh, we are seeing here is demo because we haven't loaded this uh, rule here right so i'm going to now load this rule here to display that this rule is created okay so just to close this out and i'm going to basically pass all of the rules from my controller where i'm loading this index page so as similar it's very similar like laravel right so rule and then you can call the all method to get all of the rules and I'm going to pass this using compact or you can use array method or whatever the method you are using you can pass this to the view okay just go here and here you need to cut this tr and apply the for each loop right to get all of the so rules and then this would be the rule and paste this stuff okay and align this bit more so here I'm going to say that rule as a name okay and then this would have a created at time so role created at and I'm going to call a method diff for human so I want to do this I'm doing this for displaying the date time in the like it's created two minutes ago it's five minutes ago and so on things okay great we are getting it writer and it's one minute ago if i go here and i'm going to say that now create another role which is a reader role save it and yes you can see this i have i'm able to now view this reader role here so in this way i'm creating those rules and you can see them in the in the rules table here too and yes you can see this we got this name writer reader and so on stuff right so i'm going to do this similar for the permissions so you can uh, basically do the same thing for the permissions okay i'm going to do this and then um, i'm going to do this basically in the next video or i need to do this here i'm going to do this next video so see you guys bye bye